Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are wondering why I'm in the same outfit as my blue, green, and gold halo eye, like that video, I think I called it jewel toned. It's because it's a filming day and I didn't feel like changing my shirt and I realized these are going up a week apart so pa. Since you guys liked my foundation, concealer, and uh, did the primer collection video so much, I thought we would continue that little series. And today we're going to be talking about my bronzer, highlighter, blush, and eyebrow collection. So if you guys want to see what is in my collection, then keep watching. Alright, so like in the last video, I'm just going to start like how I would go in order with all my makeup and whatever. So I'm going to start with eyebrows because that's typically where I always, always, always start my makeup. And we're just going to start with the first thing that just fell out. And that is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Black. I've just been loving this. I don't know why I haven't used a black one my whole time I've been doing my eyebrows. But this one is just the best. It's super affordable and it's really, I would seriously compare it to Brow Wiz. Next up, we have the Maybelline Brow Precise Volume Fiber Volumizer and this is in Deep Brown. I love this. I've been using it to set my eyebrows and it does add a little bit of volume. My eyebrows aren't like super thin but they are a little thin and I really like this because it does add volume like I just said. And I like to use this on days where I'm not where I'm kind of doing my makeup, but I don't feel like filling in my brows. I'll put this on to just make my brows look done. The next Burrell product I have is this e.l.f. I think this is just like the e.l.f. pomade powder duo. This is in the shade dark. On this side, it's like a pomade. And then on this side, it is just a powder. I like this. I don't love it. It's okay. I'd rather use my pencil. I feel like I have more control over the pencil than a brush, but that's just my personal preference. And I'm also just not a huge fan of the powder. Another brown product that I have is this Maybelline Brow Drama Pomade Crayon. This was actually my first influencer Vox box that I ever got. So that was pretty exciting and that's just kind of like why I held on to it. I liked this. It was okay. I'm actually almost done with this so I probably should just finish it up because I literally have that much left. This is a pretty good brow pomade. You're really supposed to just fill it in with like one swipe. That was the whole deal. But when you get it, the point is just way too huge. I don't know anyone who could fill it in with this. So what I would do was I used a brush with it. I have a whole video on it. If I can remember, I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to check that out. Next brow product I have is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in this shade chocolate. I really like this one. This is just a really nice dark brown shade. I haven't really used it in a while just because I use the black one and I just feel like that one matches better with my hair now. But I will use this for when I do pluck my eyebrows just to kind of finish it up. I like to fill in my eyebrows before I pluck them. I have a whole video on that too so hopefully I'll remember it and I'll link that down below in the description box as well. Next I just have some Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I liked this to just set my brows before I got the volumizer. This is a really good product to set your brows and it's really affordable too. And then the last thing I have is just this brow and lash brush. I just keep this here in case I need it. I don't really use the brow side too often because I don't, don't really like it. But I like this because the other lash brush that I have is metal and it freaks me out every time I go near my eyeball with it. And this one's plastic so I feel like that's a little more gentle. So now on to bronzers, I guess. I don't know. My bronzers and my highlighters and my blushes are kind of just like all mixed up. So yeah. So first we'll start out with the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. I used to be obsessed with this. And now I just don't really use it that much anymore. I'm trying to pan it in my project pan. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link the playlist down below because I have a whole playlist dedicated to my project Pan. Next I have two Jane bronzers. I got these from Ulta and I don't think they sell this brand in store anymore. It might just be online only but this one is in Give and this is just it's like a ready color. It's this is a good color for me in the summertime not so much now in the winter because it will look really muddy on me and then this one is in Dream and this is actually a pretty good one for now for me to use because it's like a nice brown color. 
These were my first bronzers as well. I hit pan on one of, actually, I think I had both of these and I hit pan on both like pretty quickly. So I need to start using these up as well. Next bronzer, this is a bronzer and blush duo. And this is the e.l.f. I think it's like the matte blush and bronzer duo. And this is in the shade Fiji. I love this. I hit pan on the bronzer so quick. And I love the blush. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Next up, I have another blush and bronzer duo. And this is from the brand sugar and this is the tropic tan blush and bronzer duo again hit pan on that bronzer so quick and the blush is stunning oh i don't know why i keep flipping it it just is a really pretty like peachy pinky color and has a slight little shimmer to it i love using this blush in the summertime because it just looks so pretty on the skin and i absolutely love the mirror in this so when i do finish it up i'll probably just save the compact just for the mirror because i really like how big it is the next bronzer that I have is this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Power in the shade 720A Sunny. I like to use this on days where I'm just trying to do like quick makeup looks. The next bronzer that I have is from Makeup Revolution. I got this in my advent calendar. I really like this bronzer. It is just the perfect bronze shade for me. And I think I, if I ever hit pan on it, I might repurchase the full size because I really, really do like it. Now on to blushes. First, we have this e.l.f. blush in the shade twinkle pink this is just a pretty twinkly pink color it kind of reminds me of the sugar one a little bit this is has gold shimmers in it so again i like to use this when i'm more tan because it just gives that like nice pretty glow next blush i have is the milani baked blush in luminoso i literally bought this because luster Lux talks about it all the time or talked about it all the time and i really like the color it's a really pretty peachy color again i like pink and peachy blushes so this one's one of my faves again for spring and summer the next blush that i have is this another milani baked blush and this is indulge say pink i love this one i'm trying to hit pan on it and it has been kicking my butt this is another really pretty like pinky shade i wear this all the time i'm literally wearing it right now and I just, I don't know, I just love Milani blushes. They're so good. Next up is an Ulta highlight blush, highlight and blush. The blush is right here and this is Sunkissed Blush. And then this is just a highlighter. So I don't really know like what their names are, but I like it. It's okay. The highlight's okay too. I think I might use these as an eyeshadow though, because they might be better eyeshadows. I honestly forget about this all the time. And then the last blush that I have here is the Sweet Cheeks blush from Ulta as well. This is just a nice, pretty, like, pinky shade. Again, has some shimmer in it. It's a good blush. I like it. Should probably use it more, too. And next is all my highlighters, which I have more. But these are all ones from Makeup Revolution that I got for, or from the advent calendar, which was insane. So this first one is a baked highlighter in Rejuvenate, and it is this gorgeous gold shade which i will most likely use once i'm a little tanner it's super gold on me and now but it is just stunning the next a big tyler that i have from makeup revolution is called gold addict again this is another really pretty bronzy shade i think i might use this as like an eyeshadow or something or maybe a highlighter again in the summer because i am a little too light and gold looks ridiculous on me when I have light skin. Next up is a pressed highlighter and this is in Peach Kiss and I really like this one. This one I've used a lot so far. It is so pretty on the skin and it just adds like a nice natural glow. I'm obsessed with it. Next up is a strobe balm and this is in golden and it's literally it's like a liquid highlight that I cannot open. I like it. I'm just not a huge fan of liquid highlights but I want to play with it a little more. Maybe try to put it underneath my foundation to give like that natural glow because I do like doing that a lot especially in the winter which I haven't done in a really long time and I should start doing because my skin's been so dry. Next up is this really pretty baked highlighter in flash and it is just this white but it is so pretty. I haven't worn this one yet and I have, I should because it is gorgeous. And the last strobe cream is in rose gold and it is just this really pretty rosy gold color. And actually when I used this, it didn't look that bad on my skin, which was surprising. The next highlighter that I have is this Ulta Illuminating Powder in Pink Diamond. If you guys have been 
with me since the beginning you know like this is my favorite highlighter and I still haven't hit pan but I think I'm getting close I have to be getting close because I've had this for such a long time, but this is just a stunning, stunning color. I absolutely love it. If they still made this, I would definitely repurchase this in a heartbeat. Next, I have this Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss highlighter in ice kiss and i got this because in my advent calendar i had gotten a mini size of this and there was a fingerprint in it and i messaged them and they were like okay we'll send you a full size one so here's the full size and it's huge so i'm really excited to try this out next is really a bronzer but i use it as a highlighter and this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer in the shade 743a reserve your cabana and this is just one of my favorites favorite highlighters as well it just gives like a nice natural glow to your skin i don't understand how this is a bronzer at all the next highlighter is the elf illuminating palette this is just one of my favorite palettes i love it recently i've been using these three as a highlighter and i've just been loving how it's coming out i'm trying to project pan this little guy as well so i've only panned one so far but we're getting there making progress and my last highlighter is Mirame from the Desi and Katie Dosa Colors collab. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And I was really bummed when I got it because I felt like it was going to be too dark on me. But I've learned how to like work with it and stuff and how to make it work for me. And I've just fallen in love with it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that is it for my blush, brow, bronzer and highlighter drawer i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media that's always down below in the description box as well if you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you would like to see me do next please let me know in the comments down below or if you just want to leave a comment saying hey please do that too i love getting your comments and that is all i have to say so i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.